Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Shepherd Pruden Memorial Library's online story time. My name is Destiny, and today we will be reading Alligator Wedding, written by Nancy Jewell and illustrated by Jay Rutland. At this time, I would like to say a big thank you to Henry Holt Company, which is an imprint of Macmillan Publishing, for allowing us to read, record, and share this type of content with you. Are you ready? Let's get started. Alligator Wedding, written by Nancy Jewell and illustrated by Jay Rutland. Down in the bayou, in the marshy glades, where the alligators slither and slide, on a warm summer night, when the moon was bright, an alligator took a bride. In her gown of moss and her cobweb veil, the bride made the groom's heart sing as he slid over a claw of her scaly green paw, a huge rock wedding ring. Then he planted a kiss, a big slurpy kiss, mwah, on the bride's long bumpy snout. And the marshy reeds quivered, and the cypress trees shivered with the guests' hurrahs and shouts. The dinner gong rang as the guests all sprang to the floating wedding table, where the ravenous beast gobbled up the feast as fast as they were able. Stuffed with Creole crab cakes, gator gumbo stew, and bayou breads, they gulped swamp aid, and with snouts upraised, belched toasts to the newlyweds. Now, said the bride, it is time for dessert. And she sliced off half the cake, which she fed to the groom for him to consume on the end of a long-handled rake. When the feasting was done, the gator on the drum began to tap out a tune, and the guests began swaying, swinging, and sashaying beneath the swampland moon. Then they all began to rock and roll in the steamy, shimmering heat, while the saxophone sobbed and the bass fiddle throbbed to a frenzied bayou beat. They did the big beast boogie, the reptile romp, the gumbo gator gallop, and the swampland stomp. Up and down the bayou you could hear the sound of those rowdy reptiles pounding the ground. And then it was time for the hefty green bride to toss her crawfish bouquet. But she eaved it so high in the swampland sky that a pelican swept it away. The honeymoon barge was now drawing near, towed by water rats, and the guests all cheered when the newlyweds appeared in their elegant traveling hats. When the muscular beauty took a seat on the raft, it almost sank from her weight and they needed a barge to be twice as large to support her heavier mate. Oh no, cried the groom, what will we do now? But the bride just smiled at him. Cheer up, my dear, the solution is clear. We'll get in the water and swim. The beast on shore threw spicy rice at the dear departing lovers, and when the two had swum from view, they pelted one another. Then those boisterous beasties partied the night away, collapsing asleep in a snoring heat at the sunrise the next day. The end. Did you enjoy our story? What was your favorite part? My favorite part was how everything rhymed. Once again, let's say a big thank you to Henry Holt Company, which is an imprint of Macmillan Publishing Company, for allowing us to read, record, and share this type of content with you. Don't forget to tune in next Wednesday at 11 a.m. for more content posted by the Shepherd Pruden Memorial Library. My name is Destiny, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Goodbye!